grave is the word I choose for you, wise one, who dared span the chasm to announce your existence amid canyons of discourse about discreet human rights. All black folk are not men, and all women are not white. In speaking your voice, you gave voice to so many more women who long have strained to be heard, left out of the narratives by their feminist sisters and erased by the men who walk with them the road. You gave voice to Malala's who long to learn truth. You gave voice to Tirana's who said, that happened to me too. You gave voice to Alicia's, Patrice's, and Opal's, proclaiming that black lives matter, and their names do too. Your voice joins with cries of Marsha Pease and Sojourners, and Alice's and Audrey's and Sonia Sotomayor's, who, all women of color, trans and cis, gay and straight, raised their voices through louder ones. Our lives matter and our stories can't wait. And you give voice to women who stand in the gaps, both privileged and not, our own spots on the map. Misogyny's real, it's alive and awake. White supremacy hurts women, a two-headed snake. Let us not forget your name, wise scholar and author, who spoke into being the term that we use to describe intersections like train tracks on our journeys towards a world full of justice where freedom is true. Let us transverse those crossings that you have revealed and listen to the ones ignored and concealed. As we move towards the kingdom, we together must be, and we cannot be free until we all are free.